They're a boy band from the 90s. Welcome to the Backstreet Boys, Luke and Lewis. We have returned with a special guest here right. today, Christian Hull. There's, there's a band called In Sync. Oh, that was the, I missed the joke. That. I missed that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, you guys are so funny. It's Thank great to you. be here. Thanks, great man. to be back. You know, we, look, I will say we both tried to make a joke. Neither of them landed. No, but my one at least made sense. No, I got yours. Yeah, yeah. in sync. Yeah, it was yeah, Justin Timberlake's boy band. Yeah. yeah. With the curly noodle I know, noodle you're haircut. explaining it a lot and you're, it's still not hitting. Are you just a massive fan? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Ba, ba, ba. It's a yeah, tune. So it's uh, good you? to have uh, the gayest man in Australia back on the show. What an honour. Thank you. That's all right. Do you reckon Welcome I'm the gayest? Back. Yeah, I, w I would say so. You're definitely the gayest guy I've ever met. Really? Yeah. Why? why? Um, I Is mean, because, I mean, not allowed to talk about it. Well, yeah, you've been contractually <laughs> obliged. I've signed We've an NDA about, about not confirming or denying If you guys things. don't know... Uh, Christian Hull, we uh, we we may or may not have look as my lawyer Luke. Why don't you explain it? Because I don't yeah. really know what promises I've were to. made. Promises yeah. were made on the show uh, in exchange for you contacting Daniel Tocknell to get the celeb spot king on the show. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we said as a show we'd exchange a Lewis dick pic. Yes, mm. and uh, due to obviously Lewis is a professional and he's mm. in entertainment <laughs> and he's a big shot now. Yeah. We big can't shot. we Good can't words. risk Good choice of words. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have oh, maybe. He's a <laughs> he's a medium to small shot. He's, look, with he's a an respectable average girth best. shot. Average at best yeah. shot. Okay, all right, guys. Look, we're getting but, too close to confirming. But we can't confirm or deny if it was ever sent because sent. my client cannot risk that being look, out there I just, in the world. Look, I'll just say that uh, we're not going to confirm whether or not the dick pic was sent. Daniel Tocknell was on the show. <laughs> uh, and mm. take from that what you will, yeah. but we're not going to confirm did, or deny I anything. Did take what. Will. Good. Okay, let's move on. How <laughs> <laughs> have you been? Way. We haven't spoken to you since COVID. Yeah, mm. you know what though? Uh, it feels hard to say this thriving in COVID. Like, yeah, I'm sure you guys You're felt the same. It. Like, lockdown happened, and then everyone turns to their phones. They want to watch content, and yeah. so I was just like, just let's just pump it out. Yeah, I mean, you. I, I appreciate that you assume that we feel the same, you know. But sometimes well, when you book a tour, <laughs> refund oh. everyone who bought tickets, and then still pay for the Dude. flights and, and the venues. Y you, you know, don't, you don't. You don't. The word that comes to mind isn't really thriving. <laughs> you know. Do you remember <laughs> when uh, we were we finished the episode over Zoom during COVID that we did with you last year, and then uh, after we just kind of had a chat for five minutes after we finished, and Christian just goes, "Oh my god." I'm making so much fucking money. <laughs> and we're just like, oh, we can't relate. I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I was stoked for Christian you. comes in today oh. and it's it's getting it's getting better for him. He comes in today and he's like, I've I sold half a million dollars worth of fuck pendants. Yeah, I made half a million dollars last year. <laughs> This is so good. Like, well done. Thank you. That's great. That's yeah. great. Thank That's you. Great. Uh, really good stuff. So that was that was fun. I mean, the money's all gone, but uh, you know, I had fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. snort at all. That's yeah. not what I'm saying. Yeah. I've invested it wisely into more dick and fuck off paraphernalia. I mean, you you have like, I mean, a lot of people have attempted to grasp this market, and it's a very lucrative market. But if you're talking Australia, I've never seen anyone have a more iron grip on the mum market. <gasps> You have Very just lucky. accumulated every cool mum in this country mm. to, to just whatever you're selling, whether it's tickets or books. My or mum pendants. was telling me about your book and she works at a bookstore and she goes, mm. Christian's got a new book. And I go, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know, Mum. Have you been following my achievements? Yeah, no, was, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. She tells me a lot about you. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. And I wish that was something that I don't hear that often. But every time I was like, Oh, can I get a photo? It's for my mum. Yes, for my mum. Yeah, and people come to the show. Oh, can you sign this book? Can you sign it to my mum? Yes, just all You've the got mums. Every single I've, mum in the country yeah. just just enthralled by whatever the fuck you're doing. I know chocolate. Been, oh yeah. Well. Yeah, I've been. I met your video. I think I met oh. your videos. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not just stating. Things, not just no. like what you've been fat, <laughs> <laughs> overweight. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, no, caramel milk. It's been. It's really interesting. Like I can, you know, write a show or write a really funny video, and it just bombs. Not, I get nothing. But yeah. if I fold a T-shirt on the floor with a piece of plastic. Uh, next minute, it's got like 10 million views and I'm on Good Morning Always. America. Yeah. You know, and then, or if I'm eating chocolate over a bin and crying, 
Again, 10 million views. <laughs> yes. And now I'm known as a caramel guy. Yeah, cool mum yep. market. I mean, that's, yeah. that's cool mum, isn't it? You know, like one day she'll fold T-shirts and learn how to do it better. She'll be like, nailed it. No. Next minute, she'll be crying over a bin <laughs> eating chocolate. Bin eating you know? chocolate. That's cool mum vibe. Yeah, so I think it's the... The less effort I put into stuff, the better yep. it does. That's it's good. Great. But so that's now, the internet, though. That is. It's just yeah. about, now I don't put effort into anything. And it's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you Hence say that. That's why he had such just, a great year. You yeah. just, you just, <laughs> just stopped trying. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you say you don't put effort into, into stuff, but how many of those pendants did you sell? I sold in the first six months uh, 17,000. Okay. And you made every single one of those yourself by hand. I did. I did. Yeah. You got to okay. respect that grind. It you was, have to respect the grind. Was, That's effort. It was intense. Yeah. Because it was, you know, I started with just some cheap, shitty molds from Wish. Yeah. And I was like, I'll sell 30. If I can sell 30, wow, that'll be great. You know, you upload a TikTok, yeah. you go to bed, and you look at your Shopify, and you're like, oh, I have 500 orders. I'm yeah. like, it's going to take me forever. So buy more molds, buy more resin. You spend, and then it was literally just, um, it takes 12 hours for the resin to cure. Or for those, yeah. So for those that don't know, I would make these resin flower pendants yeah. and I would scream into them as they cured. And I called them the fuck off flower pendant. Yeah. And so it was a thing that you wear infused that radiates. Infused with the power of fuck off. Infused with negative energy so people just fuck off and leave you alone. Yeah. And so mum it, vibes. It, it mum vibes. Yeah. Just piss off. They got off. shit to do. You yeah. stupid kids. I hate you. So yeah. total mum vibes. Yeah. You posted a TikTok about me making them and then it exploded. And then I just had this really strong yeah. amount of sales and... Um, so it was resin and you were making them in your, in your little apartment. Just on my, on my balcony. Yeah. yeah. So So... Have you been diagnosed with lung cancer well, yet? Or <laughs> are you just waiting? I didn't coming. realize resin is really harsh chemicals. <laughs> and so I'm just there like <laughs> breathing them in. And Maybe everyone... you hallucinated all those orders. You I were wondered... just posting them out. <laughs> you probably didn't even sell 30. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, am I even here? Like, I mean, well, you just said that you don't have the money anymore. So maybe no. you never made it. Well, I feel like, you know, a beautiful mind where the ending is yeah. he's actually. Yeah. Imagining everything. I was like, mm. is that what's going on for me? Mm. Because nah, so many enough. people. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's yes, right. Thank you. How much did you make last year? Well, <laughs> yeah, burn. Right. Well, yeah, half a million money. with a minus <laughs> at the front. <laughs> you know what's funny? He's like, he pretends like he makes half a million dollars a year, gets the Gucci set up, mm -hmm. gets on the sheet, right. roll up in like a t shirt. This is real money. Dunlop bullies. I got that, given these. That yeah. screams money yeah. <laughs> to me. Yeah. Well, you can't buy these though. Oh, actually, these were give it. Yeah, well, no, you can't. You can't. Yeah. I'm just so, so I guess you know, for fans, <laughs> definitely buy them. <laughs> they live bullies. <laughs> you can get them from Target, actually. <laughs> Twenty bucks. Yeah. So, so for fans of the show, if I Mom rock bucks. up one episode and I look like shit, just know I'm killing it. Yeah, You're Lewis doing has really made well it. for yourself. Yeah. See, the less effort, mm. the better. Yeah. yeah. Stop trying so hard, Lewis. You know what? You don't like the turtleneck. No, <laughs> it's from Amazon. I hate you know? it. Actually, I've told you that before on the show. Yeah. Oh, well, I like you look it. like Steve yeah, Jobs if everything you. went wrong. Yeah, yeah. Steve Jobs if he didn't have a job. <laughs> I mean, Steve. Uh, no, well, I was going to make a joke. Steve Jobs if <laughs> he sold a different kind of white product. That's yeah, what he's going for. <laughs> he definitely give off that vibe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. So huge year. What's next then? Are you making more pendants? Um, well, I've employed people now. I've Good. A Good. team of a few nine year olds from Korea to make yep. them for you. Uh, so I've got. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, can't, I feel uncomfortable talking about that. But yeah. Stop. Don't. Because I do. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I have. Uh, yeah, for now, I, have a warehouse in Australia. It? Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. So I have a warehouse packing and doing all the orders, and mm -hmm. then I've got just four. Random locals from Brisbane right. just pouring resin in. And that, like, my worry yeah. is, like, when I was doing the resin, I don't give a shit about my health, but I can just see, like, a, mm, a, a lawsuit. lawsuit, you know, like with asbestos, what happened. Like, yeah. I feel like that's... Yeah, I mean, I mean, as the boss, mm. that's on you. Maybe yeah. you should drill into them that they yeah. should wear a mask, you know? Like, well, I, I leave feel one like there, and I'm like, it's your choice, so... Yeah, okay. Well, you know, <laughs> that's, that's what he's him. done. I guess. What he's yeah. has Take to. a photo and I video that. I'm like, it's your choice, but you should definitely wear a mask. Yeah. Save to folder, HR. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bases. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you've right. gone from like a guy making videos to a corporation in about six months. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very impressive. Do you, feel, do you feel a bit more evil? Like, are you getting any, <laughs> any evil vibes? Like, are you going to start avoiding tax now? Well, it's that's 
Great question because mm. I'm always like, yeah, how dare Apple not pay tax? That's bullshit. They should pay it. Yeah. And then I'm like, hey, um, accountant, yeah, can you just make sure I avoid tax at all costs, please? Yes. Like I any mean, loopholes, just exploit everyone those. Everyone came in today and were like, it. I'm going to buy a $16,000 camera. Yeah. And like, yes, that's necessary yes. to your business. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to buy five of them yeah. and then write them off on tax. And this is the guy that has, that has made half a million dollars with his fucking iPhone. Oh, so you really don't need it. No, no. <laughs> I uh, just, it's been. Say, you worry that that seems like trying to me. Mm. What, what, what does buying a sixteen thousand nice dollar camera? I think you should just film your podcast on your iPhone from now on, and people yeah. will like it more. Yeah, that's what the, the internet is. I mean, you've got fifteen cameras here, and that's yeah, why we're incredibly at, unsuccessful. <laughs> look at, yeah, this, no, is, this is why we get you on to boost numbers. Boost you know, numbers. on the show. Yeah. Hi, mom. This Hi, is mom. the only episode you'll market. ever watch. Yeah. Can you guys actually who are watching this, can we make this our most viewed episode in the 40 plus demographic yet? Yeah. I want you to share this Female. with your mum, yep. regardless of if they know Christian or not, because they'll mm. love him by the end. We'll post the analytics of this episode. Our analytics are usually like 18 on. to 25 is probably our biggest demo. Yeah. We really want to see some 40 to 55. Yeah, I've always wondered why I get invited on because I'm like, I am nothing like you both whatsoever. That's what we you're like, funny. You're funny. Oh, thanks. If you're funny, you're on the show. <laughs> and okay. to be honest, I could use a loan. Okay. Yeah. How much would you like? <laughs> Man, uh, everything. Uh, okay, well, if you send a couple more photos. All right, well, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 you're violating the fucking NDA. That's not on. I mean, uh, yep. So, um, yeah. Oh, for fuck. Dude. That's our lull horn. We just had a lull. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you not edit out lulls? No, no. Right. We That's we have so a fucking great because no. I do the same on my podcast. Like, the, I'll get a delivery yeah. from, like, I don't know, Amazon, and I'll be like, just one second. I don't hit stop. No, I will why? go outside. <laughs> yeah. There'll be just two minutes of dead silence. <laughs> Good. I That's love so that. And I love you've got a horn. Well, it's just to reset the energy <laughs> yeah. in the room. It's worked, Woo! isn't it? Yeah, That's we're great. Back. That yeah. is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So uh, we were thinking, right, uh, you're, so hang on, with these employees, right, obviously mm. what you're selling is shit infused with the power of fuck off. Yes. So is part of their role screaming fuck you no, at no. inanimate objects? No, so I, I have not bestowed that privilege on them yet. Oh, so, so you I get zoom to do in to Brisbane to yell at objects? Well, there's no one there at the moment. Yeah. Um, I just can't be fucked selling anymore. It's it's surprisingly, like, having a business is really- Oh, boo-hoo, I'm making too much money. I can't be bothered <laughs> to make the other half of that million. <laughs> Woe really is me. <laughs> no one Make understands. another TikTok, mate. All right. Yeah. It takes 40 seconds. You don't know how hard it is. I'm here in Melbourne. No, I doing don't. One I would love to know how hard it is, actually. <laughs> Thank you. I would love to find out. Why don't you guys make merch? We, we do. do. We it does just... sell half a million dollars yeah, of but it. What are you making? Just... Shirts. Yeah, there's yeah, your first we, mistake. Yeah, shirts are great, but, but everyone makes creative. shirts. Because I I yeah. tried shirts and I think that was the real this is where I've really mm -hmm. had a lot of luck is no it's a lot pendants. of fucking effort to do we pendants and make them yourself. But when you make something, people feel... Oh, yeah, you're making it by it. hand. And like, just... Why don't you silicon cast your necklace if you yeah. want, but it'll make it mm -hmm. less exclusive. Yeah. yeah. And then you just make... You pour resin. Yeah. Just do I'll, exactly what I'm doing. I'll tell doing. you why, because I don't want lung cancer. Well, yeah, but you're also, not made to do it. Yeah, get Luke to do it. That I'm is not a good idea. It. We um did sell socks. Yeah, these sound off socks, socks right? But that was so bad. They were supposed to be orange. Oh, we'll put them on the other guy's set. Yeah. But are they, they supposed came to be out yellow? They're, they're yellow. They got sent to us them. yellow. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they we, were still really good. We got 500 of them. You know what? Surprisingly, they were the most successful bit of yeah. merch we've ever, ever done, and they were yes. horrific. Yeah. See yeah. again. That was the selling effort. point. I yeah. think. I think you know when we're ready later in the year, we try and do the perfect sock. We try and we redo the sock how it's supposed you, to be. Could you do a sock? This might be a little bit full on, uh -huh. but then it's also a really good sock for it's other okay. purposes. Cock sock. Yeah. yeah. Cock sock. That's yeah. good. Well, we were thinking, Christian, about like what other, what other products you could sell. Have, have you, know, you, you got, got fuck any... off pendants? You could put that into anything. Well, we, you've you've yes. got a whole... Is it a merch line or a brand, I guess, it's, now? I would say it's a brand. It's just yeah. I've got the fuck off shop. Yeah. I managed so to secure good. a URL called needafuck.com. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And so it's just literally like I go, well, because I've got the mum audience. What do they love? Essential oils. Yes. So I released uh, an essential oil fragrance called Fakovsky. That's and then very funny. one for the diffuser, which is a bit fucking spicy. Uh -huh. yeah. I've then, um, I get a lot of people send me stuff now. Yeah. And so there's a lot of like small businesses. So there was one lady who, it's called Coastal Soapbox, and she has these dick molds and they're soaps. Yeah. 
that are like dil- they look like dildos, but yeah. it's a bar of soap. And Wouldn't so want you, to use them though. You wet your hands. That'd sting. Oh yeah, no, no, no. It's it's external it's use more only. Like men. But I've yeah, that's a, exactly right. So you you use the soap like that. So I've bought a whole bunch of those, put pendants in them, and now it's like you know get fucked soaps mm, um, that I'm doing. And that's awesome. I, I've surely got an you idea. have to attach a little advisory that yeah, says you do. Do external not stick use only. inside you. I mean, people still do, but at least put Glad wrap over it the first. <laughs> The bare it's minimum. Disgusting. Well, I like to wash my up. mouth out with soap. Oh, I've been a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was very visual for and, and you asked at the start of the episode why you think you're the gayest person we've ever oh, met. Good point. And it's probably that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's all the dick chat. I've got a proposal. I can we can okay. combine oh. the, the dick merch mm-hmm. with the chocolate fandom. Mm-hmm. Have you ever oh, thought of chocolate. the cock chuck? That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. Would I... Just dick shake well, chop, if chocolate. If we're collaborating, yeah. would I model it on a may or may not have received photo? Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, if, it, potentially if you... <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, are you uncomfortable? No, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm just, we're getting really close to violating the NDA. That's true. Well, I may or may not have seen it yet. So yeah, okay, it really true. depends. So it's theoretically. True. Theoretically. It's, it's a good, it's a good, you know, it could work. Theoretically, if you have Why seen it. Why don't you just do that? But no one wants to have that much chocolate. You'll get sick. No, I was about to say, it'd be a nice bite-sized <laughs> little little snack. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to have that much chocolate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know yet. I haven't seen it or have I? Um. So, uh, yeah, we're drinking the cock chop. I actually that's think, actually pretty good. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> yeah, twenty. I don't know how you get. You gotta guess contact a chocolate factory and just get a custom batch made. You yeah. can use the same. Mold you just use the, the same. Yeah, mold. Use, use the same dick mold. Yeah. yeah, and then oh, imagine eating that. That would yeah, be a great be. experience. You could really like suck on the chocolate dick. Well, you could pack it with some white shit. As I was well. just gonna yeah. say you could put like a gooey Creamy cream center. in the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in the in the that's balls. That's a really yeah. good idea. Yeah, like coconut. Or like, what's inside our bounty? Whatever that is. Yeah, that's coconut. Yeah, oh, come. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why no one really likes bounty. A select few people. Yeah, that's bounty. why they're the always. I love bounty. You see, Again, gayest man in Australia. There you go. Yeah, I, I get it now. I get it. That's actually quite a genius idea. Yeah, that's right. And we'll so take twenty percent. Okay, so if yeah. I was to <laughs> say down the line in two years' time, contemplate that. Mm-hmm. What's the next step? Like, what would you would you get shitty if I did it? No, I'd, I would no, think go it's for great. It. We go would, for it. We would claim full credit on the show and try to make a new mold. Yeah. <laughs> we would um right. probably try and coast of your success. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think I think depending on our relationship two years from now, you know, mm. if we're still in contact, no worries. If we haven't talked to you for a few years, we'll sue. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Happy to take one uh, percent, or even just like send us the chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that we'll do it for a bar of coffee. Do it for yeah. a big old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just Cock chocolate. You send us a dick in the mail, and we'll be like, they call it Cock even. Bar. Cock bar. Yeah, yeah. I still think cock chalk is better. Cock chalk. That's or a really cock. good. But why not like or uh, piss Swiss? Like piss cheese Swiss. <laughs> smells. It's really old. <laughs> That's revolting. That's yeah. But would you? Because your, I would say your audience is mostly male. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you wouldn't be able to market a, a cock chuck that well. Mm. Do you reckon? No, my um, we have a lot of we have got a lot of girls. My listen. mates used to buy really not a good one in hindsight. In high school, yeah. There's a product on Amazon called uh, Eat a Dick, and it's just a <laughs> ju- It's a thing full of juby lollies full of dicks I've and you can order it yeah. someone to the house and like you know, eat a dick dicks. mate and yeah. i think a couple of the cool. lads back in high school were like oh, oh, it's not get that it, not that much of a good one but i reckon there was a sell there still yeah. for the lads yeah You'd, totally yeah gift it to your friend as you a, could a little bag of dicks yeah 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 bite-sized ones as well mm-hmm. yeah i still think your cock socks are a, would be a good one i think cock socks are quite good mm, you don't think king what are they for it's just it's, it just sounds like it's just gonna be used as a cum sock that's exactly what they're for. Yeah. Well, How about this? Makes, make it absorbent sock. at the end like a sham wow. <laughs> the end needs to be like a sham wow. <laughs> yeah. 12 uses before you need to wash. That's yeah. Good. I reckon, I think you, it's, you have an actual sock for your foot. It's called a cock sock, oh but gosh. it's shaped like a penis at the tip and it has little balls at the back. That's good. Little oh, dangling couldn't nuts. Wear, that'd have to be more slippers because they couldn't wear it with shoes on and had nuts on the back. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> you extend it so the, the, the front is a little bit loose and floppy. That'd be cool. But I like the, also the idea, why don't you just do your classic socks and it comes with a third. So it's like three, instead of, you know, a pair of socks, it's three socks. <laughs> one for the, yeah. each foot and then one for your dick. That's good. Mm. Fuck. This is why he makes half a million dollars. Do we need to get a little bit... <laughs> We're clever with our merch. We need to start selling cock. Yeah. But once, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. If anyone can sell cock, you, you come to me. Yeah. Come on me. Come to me. No. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Bit much. Don't. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Edit them out. Thanks. How's right. the show been going? Really good. It's interesting because how long were you not 
performing for? Like, what was your break? Nine months. Yeah, nine okay. nine months around. Yeah, so I I think I would had about almost eighteen months off. Yeah. And so I'd finished on such a high when I toured with Tanya, and I just assumed I'd walk straight back out and be like, "I'm a pro." Incorrect. And I thought it was. Everyone said they loved it, so but what in was my your head, first night back? It was a Christian Hull show. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. yeah. On yeah. a Wednesday, so Wednesday night, um, and I just I freaked out. Yeah. And I also thought someone was in the crowd. So the comedian on before me, I thought, was staying. And I like have a lot of respect and they're very smart. And that really threw me. Turns oh, out you thought they were going to watch the show? It? Yeah. Oh, you know Friendly Geordies? Yeah. 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 So I thought, because he was like, oh, I'll come and see your show. I was like, please don't. Like, you're very smart. Like, you, like it's very political. Yeah. And mine's like dick, piss, shit, humour. I don't want you to judge he me. He literally came on the podcast last week and I just blatantly tuned out when they started talking about <laughs> politics. It was just, I was just like, I should just go. Man, so the, don't worry. The yeah. 40 minutes though, during the episode that he did about Christian's show was brutal. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was okay. good. Thank <laughs> you. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> and so that threw me a little bit. Um, and, and then also just being, it felt so new again and I was really yeah. uncomfortable. And I just like, I felt like my first gig back, I did a spot. Luke and I both did the comic sandwich, but it was only mm. like a five, seven minute spot mm. just to get back into it. And it was great, but I felt like a robot. I, I, yeah. could, I, I was like, thank fuck I did seven minutes. If I had to do a show, that would have been strange. I'd say I would put you both as like comedians, whereas I feel like just a bit of a rando going on stage. Poison chemical salesman. <laughs> yeah, really mentally affected by the red thing. <laughs> and uh, like I had only rehearsed it to the mirror. Like, and mm -hmm. I hadn't, so you don't know where things are going to land. You don't know where the yep. laughs are going to come. So that first show was really just seeing where things yes, worked yes. or not. And then by the second show, totally fine. Mm. Loved it. Um, and then third, fourth, and the Friday and Saturday nights were always like, everyone's high and drunk. So you could yeah. fart on stage and they'd just love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> But I didn't realize it really takes a lot out of you. It's, it's exhausting. exhausting. It's yeah. so exhausting. Luke and I, this is the first time either of us, of us have done the full run. We're three weeks in. I don't oh, know if you guys can tell. We're 22 in a row. Oh, yeah. We're quite in a tired. Row. Oh, we get one night off a week. But yeah. then you like on the night off, I go see other shows. Yeah. Because I like. Or we're making videos to sell the rest yeah. of the weeks, you know? So the day off is not really a day off at all. And yeah. it's really hard because everyone's like, oh, they have to do a little bit on stage. That's what I thought. But it's just, it's it's like, because you're standing on stage screaming and you're performing mm. and you're on and then you meet people yeah. and you're just like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm like Because the meeting people is lovely, but it's, it's like great. a lot of social social energy that mm. you need to keep up for every person. I'm like, hey, yeah. man, because it's fucking awesome that they come. But yeah, it's so great. Those mums need to get home as well. You know, they got, well, that's, they got yeah, kids I also feel back because they wait for so long and yes. you want to be quick, but you're like, I also want to give you the time because you've just waited an hour yeah. for me to sign my book, which is out. Leave me alone. You've got a, you've got a book out as well, mm. dude. You're doing a lot of things. Yeah. So how much of the book did you write? Like just the blurb oh, or? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I get asked this every time. I I only, I'm, I'm no, sure I you wrote it. The only reason I ask is because a lot of All the YouTubers books, have ghostwriters. All the YouTubers. Yeah, they all, and they all deny it. Like Zoella yeah. was like, I wrote this. Like, okay. yeah. She didn't. She's written none of her books. Yeah. But no. So I initially started <clears throat> writing this because it's about my childhood. I've got, you know, triplet yeah. brothers. Like I had an epic, like, Two of the best parents. It was so fun. And when you go through radio, I was in a bit of a dark place. So I just decided to start writing stories and just going oh, back so you, into that so time. You wrote it like way before you even had a yeah. book. So I had no intention of publishing a book right. as That's soon cool. as I did. So I started writing and then when the profile grew, you, know, yeah. you can market anything. So the publishers were like, oh yeah, do you want to write a book? I was like, yeah, well, I've started. Yeah. And so it took me four years to, to get, they wanted 70,000 words. It's a lot. Ugh. I got to 54,000. I was like, I've just got nothing else. How many pages is that? I 256. Don't, oh, I don't really do books. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah it's just, Oof. yeah. I but could, it was, I could smash that. It was like, hey, is I that like a big book, Ruben? He laughed and like it wasn't a big book. <laughs> it's, it's not a big book. It's not like a tiny book either. Yeah. But it's, yeah. I just it's laughed like, at the fact that Luke has no idea what a book is. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I just like, I don't know how many words books are. Are you reading like, I don't sit there and count. You know, it's like five trilogies and 7,000 pages long. Man. For, for Luke, do anything do that? that doesn't have pictures is a big book. Yeah. You know? I'm the same. I think the only books... This is an embarrassing admission, but my... So my brothers are five years younger and had the mum read Harry Potter to them. Yeah. And I would sit there. <laughs> mum, like, as a, like, 16-year-old, I was couldn't be bothered reading Harry Potter, so I had my mother read it to me. You're yeah, like, but, I mean, that's just <laughs> audible now, isn't it? 
Oh like, yeah, good like point. Like most oh, yeah. adults are like that now, just listening to books. Yeah. It is. I, I like reading, but it's it's hard. It's yeah, hard I to do. Sleep. I just prefer yeah. the audio as a medium. I've listened to podcasts instead of reading. Mm. Yeah, I had to record the audio version. It was twenty hours. Oh, so you did Over one for like Audible. a week. Yeah. How long does that? T- how long does it take? That would be really hard. Was- <laughs> you just said twenty hours. I'm so tired. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're going on. Pain it off. Yeah. yeah no, stop they're it. asleep. <laughs> no. So I did. It was two days. And yeah. Just and in how, a room how many for, days was that? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> two two days. So, but like, so how, well, I've always wondered with audiobooks, how long is it take? Because you obviously can't read a hundred pages in one go. So how many pages can you read do before you have to cut? No, no, I did like four hours, had a lunch break, another four hours. Um, yeah. Like like a four hour take is... Yeah, you just sit there and you just read it out loud. Oh, and but then they cut out your silences or... Um, no, so <gasps> this was the weird hey, part. there's a script in front of you. How I mean, you... it's the book, uh, just reading the book. Just yeah, is there any times where you stuffed up? Yeah, so... Initially, to get into the groove, and I felt so bad for the audio producer because what a punish to have to edit. But oh, they yeah. sit there and listen, and they just like they hit a space bar every time you stuff up, so it marks their audio. Mm. But I was got pretty good toward the end. But they want you to read because everyone was excited to hear it how I am, which is a bit oh over the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want you to read it like a, like the Bible. That's you know? how they want you to read it. So I had to read it like this, and then the other day I went. And did the things like and really slowly. I feel like for a funny because it'd mm. be a funny book. Mm. I feel like you'd I would prefer it be read like like you. Yeah. So, but they didn't want that. Yeah. But they did raise a good point. It's because it can be really distracting to listen to. Yeah. Like um. And so the, the sort of the softer and quieter and the maybe for four hours. That would be <laughs> Dude, yeah. la- last week I did the one of the weirdest things I've ever done. I got asked to do this calm sleep app comedy recording. Oh. So it's like it's like a oh. kind of like. ASMR stories told by comedians mm. just before bed. And you have to start off and you have to be like, welcome. Yeah. I'm Luke Kidgel. And today I'm going to tell you. So, and oh. it's like, it's a bit funny. It's a bit of fun. Actually, that's what it is. It's, it's like a bit, the it's end fun. episode. It's, it's a funny. bit of fun. Because it's, it's nothing like who you are. Well, because yeah. I told this like uh, story about the person listening if they were on, got cast as The Bachelor, but they shouldn't have been there. Right. right, well, and perfect like, for you. Yeah, and then I told <laughs> this other one about uh, how I, I started an empire called The World Gym and I took over all the gyms in the world and then yeah. uh, in the also end I, I went bankrupt and all this stuff. And, and, yeah. and it has to go for 30 minutes, so I did two of them. But the whole time, it was just all improv, but you have so much time to think because you're like, and then oh, you I hear the sound. Oh, you just made it up for half an hour. 100%. Wow. That's, that's I had right. a brief arc i kind of thought about in the yep. car on the way in because i was like to, i was like to the guy when i came in i was like man i didn't write anything was i supposed to and he's like nah nah brother just get in there and we'll feel it out and that's I was like okay was he just looking, i felt awkward at first because like yeah i don't have a cool voice hi i could not well, get to sleep while listening to people this people are gonna fall asleep <laughs> hopefully 10 minutes into your story Right? I think it's more of you. It's more for if you can't sleep and you don't want to be yeah. woken up by a podcast. I think that's the appeal, and then yeah. you go, "All right, now we'll sleep." Well, they're just I looking that's the, for comedians whose jokes would just put everyone to sleep. So yeah. they got you in. Oh. Yeah, they didn't hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But all these like full and big people did it, like Rob Mills, and he like like really? Frenchy. I asked Frenchy about it. Yeah. And uh, I was like, "Oh man, did you just make it up?" He's like, "Yeah, man." Does, just hang on. Does Frenchy have the best voice? I to was fall just asleep? gonna I was say, like, "Hey, yeah, going, guys." Yeah. How yeah. does he? How does he? I just hope want you're to all see relaxed. How, <laughs> how he's calm and sort of quiet. Like he's just gonna talk quietly. I guess. Yeah. Easy, care, easy. I'm like, yeah. it's so funny. Yeah, I felt kind of weird at first and then I just got into it and yeah. I and I was just like saying stuff and I was like, I'd say stuff and I'd make me laugh and I'd be like, classic. <laughs> <laughs> like I'd be that giggling at myself. I love that. I love so that. So is it, is it going to be a separate app or is it on the Calm app? I don't know. It's it's an app that like Max that. is making. Have you not listened back okay. to it? Oh, it's not out no? yet. I don't know. I'm probably never going to. I bet you it was something I'll forget about and then in a year's time we're going to message someone going, yeah. listen to you before bed the other night and I'll be like, why? And yeah. then they'll be like, on the bachelor, uh, or because Frenchie was too loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have you ever gotten people say, "I fall asleep to your podcast"? Yes. Yeah. All yeah. The time. Oh, we just did a God. whole thing on it. It's fifty percent of our audience. Yes. Yeah. Me too. It's yeah. so brutal. It's really brutal because we like, put in effort. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't. No, There's no. the thing. Don't put in effort. But yeah. like we have like you know a little like whiteboard. Yeah. List you have of this incredible and, setup. Yeah. People just like listen to it in like, bed. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I, but then I go, I have the most irritating voice 
How is it calming or soothing? That's what I want to know. Your podcast is very loud. It's like it's my, energetic. It's like it's loud and mm. and yelly, and like sexually it, aggressive. Yeah, and like ours. <laughs> like we play sound effects and and like rock music sometimes, yeah. and people are using it to fall asleep. Hey, it's listen. fascinating. Not a loud, but let's just wake them all up. Oh yeah, great. Yeah. Wake <laughs> up, idiot! Stupid dicks! It's. One well, of coming Santa's, up to Christmas. Yeah, yeah, we're Santa's helpers. And if yep. you don't need Christmas help, if you mm-hmm. want to get in early. Oh, but, yeah. But, but, boys, it's only October. Hey. Hey. Get, be prepared. Be prepared, all right? Yep. The mm-hmm. Christmas is going to be around the corner. That's and right. And if you need a gift for maybe your dad, your yep. uncle, anyone in your family that you suspect has a hairy hole, <laughs> <laughs> get him the lawnmower 4.0. Yeah. And what and a great thing to receive under a tree. But even better than that, get a little gift for yourself and secure 20% off and free shipping. And yeah. don't tell them you used it, the no, discount either. Because they go, hey, I love you so much, I paid full price. Pocket the difference. Yes. Manscaped.com slash sound off. 20% off free shipping on your Christmas gifts for uh, anyone you it's know a, that has a could hairy be hole. Great for a boyfriend. Yeah. A girlfriend. Absolutely. Yeah, Every, there's you know. there's some ladies out there with some hairy holes. Exactly. You know, I'm I'm I I won't knock it, but I will help trim it. Yep, and we will provide you a significant discount and mm-hmm. free shipping with our custom link. Yep. Manscaped.com slash sound off to get twenty percent off and free shipping mm. off uh, what could be a future Christmas present, and that way you don't have to think about it. Yep. And Christmas is fun. And you know what Sandra will be saying if you use our code Manscaped.com slash sound off, they'll mm-hmm. saying what a magnificent ho ho hole. Because it'll be nice and trim. Because of what did you say? Who will be saying it? Santa. Oh, I thought you said your mum's name. I was like, why would your mum be saying that? No, Sandra will <laughs> not be saying that. He said Sandra. No. I was like, no. <laughs> Like, no, leave your no. mum out of this. Yeah, I, I, why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm I trying was, to sell razors. Don't bring my mother into this. I was like, did you talk about your mum <laughs> earlier in the ad? No, no. I'm talking about Santa, man. It's cool. Hey. Yeah. Stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm not. You. Stop! I'm not. It's manscaped.com slash sound off. 20% off and free shipping. Although. Would you? <laughs> if, if I know Arthur doesn't have one. I might let Sandra know. <laughs> she is a hairdresser. Yeah. Arthur, <laughs> see, your brother seems like he has a hairy hole. Well, if he's anything like me. But you, well, you don't because you use Manscaped. That's right. If, people are going to get so angry And welcome at back to the right. podcast. Man, I, awesome. I'm in on some real disrespectful <laughs> shit on my own podcast. I, uh, it's called the Luke Kidgel Hour and I... Uh, didn't want to do an hour of content the other week because I just yeah. had nothing to talk about. So I just played audio and video of a monkey oh. eating an egg for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. And it's so many video, people though. were stuck in traffic and like, although there was a cop behind me, I couldn't change it. So they had listened to this monkey just <laughs> chill for 10 minutes on the freeway. That's, oh, I love Some that person though. was on the West yeah. Gate. I thought they were going to jump. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. I did one similar. Where I was like, oh, I've got nothing to talk about. So I put in my earbuds and I listened to music and sung. <laughs> so it was karaoke oh. with no music. Luke, and the what are we doing? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? Look at it. What a waste of time and money this is. I know. We should listen to music and sing. But that's yeah. you, you should do an episode where you're just like out of ideas and mm. just do something really dumb. Well, that's why dumb. we got you on. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to do something really dumb. Okay, thank yeah. you. Well, have you, I mean, let's do it now. What, what, what's the idea? We just sing. Oh, uh, yeah. You just, well, you put. Just whatever we can think of. How about this? What other sound effects do you have on it? Just that's the only good one. That's <laughs> Actually, that's not a, calling that a good one is is pretty generous. Yeah, call when it do good. you use <laughs> that? Oh, th- that's yeah. so great. Yeah. yeah, Do you just whip it out like Christian? How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Thanks. Yeah, and then we've got we've got, uh, we've got this. It's the wind. We have a nice wind for the show. It's like a news opener. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think that's uh, pretty professional around here. Man, again, when, we try yeah. too hard. When do you use the dings and the buzzer? Uh, we usually, we're playing games with we've, each we've other. We've got this, in case we want to get suspenseful. Christian Hull. It sounds like you have been nominated <gasps> for guest of the year. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Who who's else is don't, nominated? Well, don't get too excited. Every guest <laughs> is obviously <laughs> nominated for guest of the year. Why should the people listening to this show vote for you in the 2021 Loogies? Um, I think people should vote because I have no gag reflex. I, um, 
<laughs> Strong contender. I've put on 12 kilos over lockdown. Cop that, Andy Lee. Stupid uh, <laughs> <laughs> bastard. Um, yeah, there's no qual- I have no qualities to convince people to vote for me. You're really And that selling. is why yeah. you should vote for me. Christian Hull as guest of the year. Very humble. Oh, I was waiting for... Very good. I reckon you've got the win. You're, you're up against some pretty uh, big competition. You're up against uh, uh, Rod's lawnmower, uh, yeah. who is strong contender. Ooh. So Rod is a yeah. guy in Frankston, we in Frankston that used to mow right, Lewis's you lawn and you could hear it in the background of the, some of the episodes. <laughs> so technically it was a frequent guest. Yeah, it was frequent. actually a recurring guest on the podcast. Yeah. Okay. You're up against Andy Lee as well, one of the most oh. famous and funny people well, in, in the country. Okay. We all know who's going to win it. Who? Christian Rod's lawnmower. No, if you wouldn't give it to... You have no idea how how well Rod's lawnmower will poll in the votes. Oh, so it's a a publicly voted thing. That's the interesting thing about Guest of the Year is you can campaign, right? Mm. So That's how Darren Levy won it. Some people... uh, Campaign a bit too hard, which is fine. We're not going to complain Mm because we get heaps of promo. Yeah, Yeah. so (laughs) if you you threw the mum market at Mm. our show to vote for you... You you could win out over Ross. But I really want the, the I chances would... of Andy campaigning are quite low. Yeah, yeah. He, th- he probably thinks he's got it in the bag. Yeah, yes. He was very confident. He didn't even give reasons why. He was just like, "Well, obviously, I'm going to win." Yeah, I'm Australia's Andy Lee. Actually, yeah. he wasn't that confident because he banned Jack Post from being in the running. Yeah. Uh, oh. He said the last time him and Cackling Jack, who's on their show, mm. the last time they were up, uh, up against each other in an award was uh, 1999 in yep. Channel 31 Community Radio <laughs> Awards, <laughs> and Jack Post beat Hamish and Andy at the time. Yeah. So he's so he didn't want history to repeat itself. So we promised to ban Jack Post even if he comes on. He's not in the running. You should get just get him on. Well, just we can't have him as a guest. Band. We could have him as like a phone in. That does not really a guest. You know, that's a he's that's a feature spot but yeah we just so can't honestly, he wasn't that guest. confident he was trying to ban other nominees <laughs> he was yeah. just coming in here that's the whole episode was don't have this I'm yeah ban. how can i win but the lawnmower look that's a given yeah, yeah. it's it's a strong it was contender. A very well received guest yeah have a runner-up category yeah just we did make, last year uh, who won it last year oh billy darcy uh mm. comedian from sydney he yep. uh is a big fan favorite always the underdog yeah uh he, he, he never tells people why they should vote for him. He just says why you shouldn't vote for other guests. Oh, that's yeah. a good way to... Usually good goes good on tactic. a rampage. Very political-esque campaign. Yeah. Yeah, very Trump. It's kind of mm. how Trump won. It's like, yeah. Hillary's an idiot. I'm not. And then everyone's like, oh, he won't win with that campaign. Yeah. It was, yeah, I was on board. It was very funny. It was very... Yeah, that was a scary time. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's that's how you win people over is if you're funny. You yeah. can kind of do whatever you want. You know yeah. how else is up for it? Money Ryan. He's going to be our... Yeah. Our, yeah. He's our boss here. He's the guy that owns this compound. Yeah. That $30,000 wooden eagle. You think you made a lot yeah, last year. It's a beautiful eagle. It is. It's so lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It it's, seems a bit random. I don't know why the fuck you would he has ever two. buy He has it. another one. He's a horse, I think. Yeah, he's got a big horse. Yeah. Oh, there he does. His one wasn't enough. <laughs> so, um, yeah, how were the... um? I saw you were getting about the uh, Mardi Gras. Was that in Brisbane? Or was that here? Oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> what? Where was the Mardi Gras? Where was the Sydney oh, gay Sydney. and lesbian Mardi Gras? Sydney. Yeah. Cool. I knew you live in Brisbane. Do you, don't so I pretend it was there. that you're not accompanied with the gays. I don't know. Mate, I just saw it on Instagram and you look Brisbane fucking awesome. Brisbane would have a Mardi Gras. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't think well, so. I was thinking We're not like, there yet. I was thinking like, geez, they've come around. They've come a long way. That's great. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it was, it was in it Sydney. Was in Sydney. Yeah, if you, if you want a Mardi Gras, you have to go a long way if you live in Brisbane. Yeah, right. How was? It was really good. It was great. Thank you. Yeah. It's it's hard uh, being a bigger gentleman and going to Mardi Gras because the gays literally don't eat for, you know, 11 months of the year for Mardi Gras and they're just <laughs> like, yeah. then they wear the tiny little outfits and you don't know where to look and it's a bit, as a sex pest, it's a great day out. <laughs> yeah. But it was interesting with COVID because they cancelled the parade and you had to go around, you had to go around the SCG. So it's the first time I'd ever been at like a sporting oval, <laughs> as I think yeah, many the, of the, the gays. The fans would have been fuming. <laughs> Yeah, and so it was. It was. It was good. I really enjoyed yeah. it. it. Were you there with like the SCA crew, like all the people from radio? Yeah, like, yeah. all the Tommy all the radio and Carrie peeps, and stuff. Carrie and Tommy Carrie and, and Tristan Vaughn was there, and then yeah, they you like, hanging out with the so I, I only really see Mardi Gras from like a straight guy's perspective, and my involvement in that seems to exclusively be 
stand on the sidelines and then post about it on my stories to show that I'm an ally. Ally. Right? What is it like being in the fucking thick of it when it's your thing? Oh, it's so good. It's yeah. so fun. Yeah. And you do, it's weird because you think like, you know, we've got the yes vote. It, everyone's still quite accepting. Mm. I mean, there are communities. Yeah. It can be a bit dodgy. But it's still so emotional. As soon as you walk out into the SCG, you're like, oh, wow, this is put on for the gays, you know. Yeah. And, and you still have that sense of, I guess, pride. That's what it is, gay pride, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And it's so pride rally. I think a lot of people are like, oh, you know, another gay pride thing. But we're like, no, this is our original one. And Yeah, that's it, cool. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. The, the parade is a lot better because it's a lot, it feels a lot more intimate. Yeah. It was going through um, mm. around the Oval. That, I mean, it's the best you could do because of the... COVID situation. Oh, so they got, so you're not through the streets, you were just circling the yeah, oval. Yeah, so you just walk around. <laughs> like, How many so laps did you do? Um, well, mate, it was, I'm not usually walking. Uh, I'm usually <laughs> yeah. on a truck. So yeah. uh, it, was, it was, I think it was like one and a half. Yeah. You go around and then you go through and then they film the bit in the middle and you all so funny. do a dance. And Normally the stadium <laughs> is like for people who are just like number one in the world at whatever sport yes. they do. Yes. Today yes. it was like number one at being gay. At being good at putting dicks in your mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was It was a really... That's sick. Yeah, it felt very football-y because you, you yeah. go around and then you walk down the middle and then they scream out your, um, like your float name. Yeah. And then you just do this dance, all the cameras, and then there's like fireworks. That's it's sick. really AFL. Which is exactly how they send off for people after a 20 year <laughs> career. <Yeah>. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's exactly that. Yeah. yeah. So it was really good. That's great. Mm. That's very exciting. Yeah. Would and you ever... Was there an audience in the stands? Yeah, it was packed. Just going, Woo! Gay blokes! Yeah. Yes! Woo! Get your dick out! Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever go? I yeah. would go. Yeah. It seems fun. I was kind of jealous watching it on your story. I just like everyone it's, was having a hoot. It's funner in the parade because you need to get in it. Tom well, and Ollie I, were it's there. It's not for us. We shouldn't be in it, right? Are there straight people well, in Ollie the parade? There's like ally floats and there's like organized. Get out of the yeah, way! I, I, <laughs> you know you'd be, be an ally. You know, be part of the fucking I don't parade. You watch. Steal your yeah. thing. Like you know, I feel like I'm intruding on yeah. something that's not for me. I think I just want everyone to have. The experience that I have, and I guess you, yeah. you really do need to be gay. Yeah, to I don't have think that allies get a float. That's like having like a, a march for women, and it's like, and next up, it's Tom and his dog. <laughs> you know, it's like you're not. Yeah. You can watch Tom, yeah. but you're not in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's not about I you, think. Tom. I don't know. I just I feel like I just want people to share that experience. So like we should have a straight pride march, is what you're saying. Yeah, I think there's been a few of those. They've turned out to be quite yeah, hateful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not. Uh, yeah. I don't think they'd be received too well. But mm. I don't. Mm. It's I think I think I'll watch. Yeah. You know? I, and is there is there like an after party? Because surely there's like okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah there is. There's many Because there's no, uh, to me, in my mind, if you're celebrating being gay, there's only really one way to f- to finish the celebration, and that's by being very gay. Being very gay. Yeah. Does yeah. that that go on? Yeah, that go yeah. that's heavily, heavily. Yeah. There's usually what happens is you do the parade and then you finish and then you it. Do you just go straight at the parade. Yeah, you do everyone at the parade. Sometimes in the middle of the parade there's people just doing themselves. And then there's an after party and they all go and line up there. And <laughs> it's just I like I don't drink or do drugs. And it's, it's lots of people have already done that. And yeah. So yeah. you're lining up with people who are just like <laughs> and steering off into space and then yeah. you know, sure comes out and they're all but <laughs> it's like a tightly packed community yeah. of gays not wearing any clothes and yeah. uh, it's very uncomfortable for me because I don't like I mean fuck off is the big thing are you secretly straight I mean could I even pull that Christian off Hull exposed some but you know people used to think that I was acting super gay because I was covering up that I was straight because I got to f- like a lot of women feel so That's, comfortable around me yeah oh, that they yeah, were like yeah, he's yeah. got to be straight yeah I was like what like there's a dick in my mouth right now how is that mm- the show was what the show? Is that what you do at the show? There's a lots of dicks in my mouth in the show. Wow! There is actually, there is, uh, yeah, not a real dick, but yeah. there's a. I get out of, yeah. All right, yeah, it's very gay. You're right. Yeah. I am probably the very gay. Well, guys, send your mums. You know. Yeah, it's interesting because I do because the mums found me from Trish, which is a character I play. Yeah. Uh, blonde wig. Yeah. It's the mum character. Yes. Oh, I hate my children, and they're like, "Oh, he hates the kid. Me too." And yeah. Like, oh, he's doing a stand-up show, but my stand-up <laughs> is like uh, this show. Yeah, like I shat myself in Bunnings, so it's a story about that. <laughs> my first time at a nude beach yeah. where someone tried to, you know. You know, stick it in, and yeah. it's just like it's very sexually aggressive and very yeah. confronting content. And so, in the meet and greets after, it's really funny because they really want to meet you. Yes, like oh, I love your Trish stuff. You should do that on stage. I'm like, no, oh, it's a bit boring. Yeah, 
It is it is funny when because sometimes Luke and I will have mums because we sometimes we have young people who come with their mm. parents and and mm. most of the time the parents love it because we do stand up mm -hmm. every now and then the kids will come up and go oh love the show and mum's there just like begrudgingly taking a yes. photo going yeah. you've corrupted yeah. my children I've I've had a few yeah where before I didn't really put an age limit or a recommendation yes. and I think that the touring company I worked with didn't realize how quite sexually aggressive right. my content would be. Yeah. And so you'd get mums and they're like 14 year olds would come and then they'd Get line young, up yeah. and I'd see it. I'm like, Oh my God. Like I was talking about having sex with someone. You feel field, weird. But yeah. Yeah. Comedy's for adults. Like it always has been. It's, it, it is. It's like mm. for 16 and up. Like it's for I mature audiences. It just is. Yeah. Most well, comedy. Well, I think, but, but you think about your, like, professional comedians so yes but then when you look at like miranda sings or you look at people who are yeah. predominantly on youtube yes a lot of the younger audience watch it and my content is quite i wouldn't yeah. say safe i could look it's at not miranda sings and then like some of your videos and go that's the same genre <laughs> yeah. rock up to a show with my nine-year-old daughter and go we're leaving and miranda sings being like yeah don't shove a dick at me for joining you know like <laughs> that's that's yeah. how i feel yeah Mum's but your podcast is filthy though podcast is disgusting the podcast is the stand-up show <laughs> yeah, so if yeah. you've heard the podcast i'm then fine you know. with it but majority yeah. of them have just seen, seen your video Facebook, so yeah. it's yeah yeah it's, it is it's hard it is hard like because because like, i've had to tone down the swearing a little bit on youtube just because oh, so much to get monetized There's people like fold stuff. the t-shirt again yeah. yeah eat a block of chocolate yeah. <laughs> do you get oh you would have so many people bringing you chocolate oh, what do you do God. with it all I, I mean, eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never eat. He, oh, he gets, paranoid. He's yes. like I'll bet so um, paranoid that he thinks everyone's trying to poison him. After I will be sure. He but, will but not I eat anything. I think that's the way to, that you should be like that. Yeah. I feel because there's that story of um, someone was made Carl and Jackie O muffins, and like Jackie will never eat. You know, obviously, he just won't eat anything. Mm. Carl apparently ate it. This is the rumor, and the person had pissed in the ingredients. Mm. And so that was that was the rumour that was going around yeah. uh, SCA at the time where you just like, yeah. you say thank you and then you just put that aside and you... Yeah, you yeah, think, I yeah. would I would just... You would give it to the producers. You give it yeah. to the producers. That is exactly what would happen. And as a yeah. producer, we would eat it. Yeah, you'd be like, so oh my poor, God. They paid yeah. nothing. Free like, oh, great. How good. <laughs> so you, when we actually met when we all worked at SCA, which is, mm. which is like... Fox FM out the radio show that Luke and I had. We worked in the building, and you were running social media. How good must it feel now to be like you should have listened to me more? Because look at this. So it's I don't want to be arrogant, but it's so fucking good. Like <laughs> it was also like the end of last year when when I checked PayPal to see how much I'd made, like half a million dollars. Yeah, I was like I first would never expect to be earning that in radio. Yeah, and then I was like I'm earning more than some of the breakfast talent. Like it's ooh, insane. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. So can't relate, but I'm happy for I you. Can't relate. You'll get there. Yes, Just, that's the plan. Cock socks. Cock socks. Cock socks. All Cock right. Socks. We need to get the mum market, dude. What? Yeah. What can we? What can we? No, do no, no. Christian? Let's no, let's go for the dad market because Christian's already got the lot. The mum market yeah, locked up. Let's go true. for dads. No, the mum. Oh well. See, dads don't spend like mums do. That's, that's the true. problem. Mums mm. are in charge of the finances. I don't that's know, why. That's why the I've got the young alcoholic market. Some guy bought seven bottle openers at my show. <laughs> Meg, as a joke, he bought five, and she go as a joke. She went, "Oh, that's not enough. Only five. And the guy went, "True. Add another two. And then, <laughs> what I'm not seven joking. For? One for each seven. room. I don't. Yeah, one for each and room. And also, if you're that much of an alcoholic, how do you not already have ten at home? <laughs> yeah. Why do you need seven of the same? Uh, like, it's a novelty. It's a well gym. Yeah. It's Maybe a novelty. Maybe he's future-proofing himself. Because I'll do that so where I know what six. I'm like. Oh. So when I need something essential, I'll just buy two. Because I'm like, I know I'm going to lose one. I get buying two, one for a friend, or have two for yourself. But seven's excessive. Was it near Christmas time? Or was this recently? No, this was like last week. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Very good. my show. Yeah, so maybe you needed to market. I've got mine. i got my... You know, young yeah. Darrow. You know, you know. I realized the other night on stage, I was like, "Who he is on Job Seeker?" I'm like, "Yeah, who's a, here? He is on Job Keeper." I was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Dude, I make all my money indirectly from the government." Yeah, but it's just like yeah. my fans through, the, yeah. through my fans. On Centrelink. Everyone's like, "You're on Centrelink." I'm like, "Kind of." Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like people who are on Centrelink give me money, and that's how I pay my bills. You just got to find that niche. And once yeah. you find that niche, <laughs> mm. my niche is people with no money, though. So um, that's a bit of right. a. Well, what's the what's the what's the marketing tactic to get the dad market? Because I can't think of anyone who's really online who has the dad market. Do that much dad stuff. I mean, yeah. Isaac. You have a dad kinda, bod. That's true. 
Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, like I drink a bit. Oh. Yeah. I wouldn't say you had a dad bod. No, it's like a it's like a charming like little pot belly. Yeah. You know? yeah. Okay. You know? What would you say? He has. Uh, well, I wouldn't say twink. Describe so my twink in the gay world is. Yeah. yeah. You definitely. I'm like an you extended twink. Yes. Twink. Long twink. Long twink. Yeah. Long twink. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know what. I don't know. Just describe my body, Christian. Um. That's awkward. Just like incredibly no, average. You're not dad bod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twink. You're but like you, you're in between. I see, I see dad bod. You'd have to be just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I think mm. I used to have a dad bod. I, you know what? I've actually maintained since yeah. we got. We did this fitness challenge. Yeah. And I, I had a bit of a sloppy rig at the end of COVID. Yeah. And then we did this fitness challenge earlier in the year. I have since been busy with the comedy festival and I'm sure you've laid the off the photos. Are there shirtless photos of you? There's underwear pics on Luke and Lewis. Where? Oh, right. <laughs> what? I'll show you. Really? Now yeah. it's oh, weird. I'll weird. get it up. Wow, just the pics, okay. not anything else. Oh. I think you posted pics. I think I've seen. I think I've seen yours. <laughs> That's concerning that you've only. Wow. Can we just acknowledge the fact that wow. you've always had a big old crush on Lewis? No, I don't know what you're talking Shit about. Liar. <laughs> Terrible liar. You definitely do. But I was also t- and uh, and so it's not offensive. I'm not offended. No, well, but. I- you know what I have Why noticed? is he Is he Like what's your type I know Christian I've not, I wanted to ask you this I actually get hit on By a lot of gay dudes and, Why? and like Not even Not even fans Like it's it's happened a few times In the street Just a lovely gay guy Would be like Hit on Being re- aggressively nice And I'll go mm. What's going on Then they'll ask my number And I'll go Oh sorry I'm not gay But thank you yeah. is, is what, it, what is it It's the turtle man It's the turtle man you know what? You're probably not wrong, though. It's a little <laughs> but bit. But it's of a, a big mate. call for like a gay guy to hit on another man. So I would... you've got to roll the dice that mm. I'm interested and that I'm gay. That's a fairly small chance. So you would I think. would say um, you're quite nice. Mm-hmm. So that that could be uh, misconstrued as being I don't know nice, mm-hmm. tall. And then I would go well because he's tall. If yeah. if he's in proportion, I don't know. I <laughs> may or may not have seen anything. You'd be like. You know, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And yeah, then, okay. That makes sense. And then because it's like that. Yeah. You had that oh, long twink He's probably straight. Dip. You're like, oh, it's a bit hot. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. so it's the, the it's fact like that, that um, I thought I gave off gay vibes, but maybe it's mm, the, oh. I don't think you give I off gay vibes. I can't have him, which makes me want him. But it's like that. Mm. You don't give off gay vibes, yeah. but you could be. So it's okay. like, oh, it's like a straight. Some people often uh, will see my stand up and maybe think I I'm gay, but I vibes. never get hit on by gay dudes. Some people just think I'm gay. Do they? I do, I do like a bit of oh, theatre yeah. on stage. Okay, here we go. Here's the before and afters, Christian. Have a scroll. Just swipe through that. Is this necessary? You, yeah, I want to hear your thoughts on the befores and the afters. Is that the, the before? Yeah. You're both so fit already. <laughs> and you're wearing the same pair of underwear. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I didn't wear them for the whole fitness challenge. They've yeah. been clean since then. Okay, okay. Then We accidentally did it on the first one and then we Looking intentionally did it on the second one, I think. Wow, you it's, that's quite you made a lot of progress. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh wow, so did you. <laughs> See, this is um, what I mean. I got a wow. The constant favoritism wow. Wow. towards yeah. Lewis. You got, oh my well god. Done, I got a wow. You went you from zoom. you went from <laughs> You're getting a zoom in. Yeah. What are you zooming in on? No, Christian? I'm zooming yeah. in. <laughs> Wow. You went from that. <laughs> Sorry. Two wows. Wow. Um, Three wows. Stop it. You've gone from, I would say, mm-hmm. a five in your before <laughs> photo okay. to a fucking ten. What? Whoa! Not a and ten. And you've gone from. Don't say it. It's going to hurt my five. feelings. Uh, it might five. hurt Point your feelings. Five. It might hurt, hurt your feelings a little bit. <laughs> Only because, no, and I, you, I love you. If you say you. From, just be from a four to a six, I'll be disappointed. No, 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 no. Oh, it's so even worse than that. So, like, I would say, like, I actually really like you before. <laughs> you, you went backwards. I went backwards. I got fitter and... You're really studying these images. Yeah. What I think it's mean? also the underwear you're wearing in the before photo is a bit tighter and it's a little bit more revealing. Okay. That, so that, so that's not nothing to do size. with the challenge. We weren't like working <laughs> that's out... Kind of, that's all I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, oh, Lewis did a... Um, oh, there's more photos. Didn't you stick socks down as a meme? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah no that's one why the second up on photo looks in great. the after photo. He, as a joke, he oh, put a sock down. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, oh. no one realized. No one it. thought it was. No, a they, joke. they would. Have no, no one realized that it was the a joke. after photo. I put socks down there. I thought it was super obvious and like a clear joke. 
No, no one no commented, one like, really. Other than, like... And now everyone thinks, oh, well, yeah. like, someone's doing well. <laughs> but yeah. I, I find, um, like, your side profile, mm. yeah, you've gone from... Again, you, Give I, us the numbers. You're really on, hot man. in both of them. Like I with that. Give us yeah. the numbers, Christian. Give us the numbers. Okay, so I would say um, before a nine, after also a nine. What? Well, like, then why did I? Did I got I can't all the wow. I spent yeah, six weeks working just, out. I don't know. I think it's because you've, you've fixed the beard up. and so yeah, n- None of this has to do with nicer, our fitness And at you all. look way more confident. No, it's not. It's just... <laughs> It's like, well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, we just fixed our everything oh, oh, else. Did, did I accidentally like it from your own account? That's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, Christian, mm. I'm going to take the phone from you. That's enough swiping and zooming. No, I'll just hold it now no, for a little bit. That's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, well done. Oh my God, he's, he's going through my, my photo library trying to find dick pics. Um, <laughs> Do you have dick pics in your photo library? <laughs> Do you? He's not going to confirm or deny. I'm the lawyer. Well, no. not Talk to my lawyer. No. Do you have dick pics? No. Oh, I have I'm a paranoid. whole enormous folder of them, and you you get there's Is it an even app. locked. Yeah, so you get a secure app, yeah. and so it's like calculator. So you tap, and then you type in a code into the calculator, and then it like flips over, and it's you can. You've, I've got all oh. my photos. Yeah, but got, the problem with that, Christian, is is those photos aren't yours. They're in the app, so it's probably in some cloud somewhere. Well, I've come to terms with every <laughs> nude that I take. Yeah. Would I be okay with it being leaked? Oh, so, so you just take really good ones then. Yeah, and they yeah. look I look nothing like my nudes because they're taken yeah. from like really high angles. Mm. You can't see the chins, mm-hmm. the gut's a bit thinner, and it also yeah. elongates other things yeah. and makes them look and a lot larger. And in this day and age, it's like, you know. I mean, everyone has a fucking OnlyFans. I honestly so think weird. it's like it's a – I reckon we're maybe a year or so away from just every guy also having OnlyFans. All the male rappers are doing it anyway. Well, got, um, Lil Pump has a fucking OnlyFans. Jackson on O'Doherty camera? has an OnlyFans. He does. Yeah, he does Of which I've porn. subscribed. Have you? Yeah, and um, – like, But he fucks Cairo. chicks on It's there. funny – no, it's like funny porn. My mate sent it to me. It's like jokes, like they're like TikTok trends, but it's like to do with fucking. Christian yeah. doesn't find it funny. He's very serious. No, oh yeah, I mean, no, like he I'm did like, the one yeah, I saw. It was like, it. what's that light challenge? I just, I just flicked, flicked the switch. switch, and he's like there with his girlfriend, and then like they flick the oh, switch, yeah. and then he's just like nude, full on fucking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like after they flick the switch, it's kind of funny. Like it's it's, it's actually funny, like yeah. a good bit, it's but it's so funny, weird that like funny porn sells now. Mm. Um, but he's making it he might be the only funny thing he's ever done that's true other than that one video that you stole from him yeah I did steal it from him he yeah. d- he did it first <laughs> what was it? he what did that it? video he did that a week know, after I did it like shot for shot oh wow yeah, yeah. oh well yeah. good on he's yeah. very he's a clever boy yeah, he's moved but on to that, what he's good yeah. at 200,000 a month is the rumoured I was going to say I, we can't shit on him he's doing funny fucks but I also yeah. I also, <laughs> like porn would be that uh, that uh, lucrative. Like I didn't think people would pay for it, but you know what? It's why? a joke. I think people put it in their group chats. That's how I got sent yeah. it. Yeah, I think yeah. also people want porn that's a bit shit. Professional yes, porn sucks. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah with, like, I want as amateur as possible. And, yeah. Yeah. I like. I used to think it was weird. Like guys in high school used to be like, "Who's your favorite porn star?" I'm like, "Dude, who watches porn stars?" Like it's yeah. it's like shot in HD. It's weird. Yes. Yeah. It's very unbelievable and. Yeah, mm. I want like, you know, like, it's kind of like the, literally what we talk about all the time. Shoot it on a webcam. Yeah, just so yeah. shitty. And yeah. like, that's why things on and TVs the on the internet background, go viral. The, yeah. the fire alarm, the fire alarm, smoke alarm hasn't been replaced. Oh yeah. my I wanna, God. I want to judge. Know it's real when that stupid smoke yeah. alarm's going off. <laughs> like every fucking two I want to judge like their fucking, um, their music choice that's yeah. playing in their mm-hmm. college dorm room, you know. Give me I a wanna, playlist. Like, I yeah. want to like go. Why the fuck would they fuck to this? You know, I want to be yeah. thinking about other shit. I want, I want to hear. I want to hear the family in the other room. I would have been border, <laughs> borderline distracted. Is how I like to come. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have to be thinking about twenty different things. <laughs> and yeah. Otherwise, I just can't know. Mate, if SpongeBob's not on the TV during, I'm not interested. <laughs> We're not filming it through a mirror that's yeah. dirty and you can see the reflection. <laughs> yeah. Man, one time I watched an episode of they had Family Guy on, I was like, oh man, I love this scene. And yeah. I just watched the Family Guy for a bit. You know, it's good. Well, my favorite one has Carmen San Diego. I don't know if you might be oh, too yeah. young for that. Cartoon. Where in the world is Carmen yeah, San Diego? That was playing in the background. I was like, oh, this reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a bit awkward. But a bit of I, a nostalgic. Would term. you ever do OnlyFans? No, only because it would distract from comedy. I feel like if I was like a, if I was just like a YouTuber or something, I'd maybe do a fun. Not, I would never do like full on nudes. Mm. 
Actually, nah, I just couldn't do it. It's so weird. I just like mm. keeping that part of my life. I love having a you private, know, private life. Yeah. I love having a, a real private Would life. Would you do? I'm on, I'm on the fence. So I think if everything died in the ass for me, um, I'd jump on OnlyFans. Or if if <laughs> at some point, nu- if nudes do get leaked, I'm like, well, yeah. I'll just cash in and I'll just upload. I've got a video catalogue ready nudes, to go. If nudes were leaked... <laughs> yeah. Then mm. I would just put them on OnlyFans. If people are going to look them up anyway, yeah. might as well make a buck. Maybe yeah. then, but nah. I think OnlyFans, if you're not mainly a porn star, mm. is a real good like indication that you're on the fucking on the down, you know? Because you just need to try to make your last buck. I reckon yes. that's what yeah. OnlyFans is for a lot of people. If it's not, if you're not mainly a porn star, if you're a musician and you got an OnlyFans, you know, like Lil Pump started. I think it's so weird though. Like, way out. Every future kid is going to be at high school and mm. then everyone's going to have their mum's nudes or their yeah. dad's nudes on their phone. Uh, like but maybe it won't from be weird. years ago. Yeah, maybe it maybe won't, it be, won't weird. be weird. It would just be a, a thing that... Yeah, because so mm. many people have an OnlyFans like you see. So many people. You'd have school bullies. Tell your mum to upload more foot pics. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I never thought of that. That's, you that's would a, though. Yeah, you would. Hmm. I mean, I'm not there's one woman now. that people was are so doing... open about it. Like, I went to see Alex Williamson last night at the comedy festival. And he opens his show and he's just like, "Who's jacked off to me, Misso today?" Oh. And the whole crowd's like, "Yeah, That's so <laughs> great!" It was great. And he's like, "Oh, fuck yeah, him. boys!" He's yeah. like, "He's like, she he didn't even give me a sub." He's like, "I have to unpack the dishwasher. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking. I have to work for it. You guys have got it easy." <laughs> I do love that, like... <laughs> He's what so funny, man. You know about, like, his girlfriend's OnlyFans. Surely 70% of the photos are taken by Shooter, you know? That's oh, yeah, you can really see funny. his shadow in some of them. People have oh, seen... Are you a subscriber? No. Well, people... I've heard that you can see their shadow. No, literally, like, again, my mates are animals. They send yeah. me the, oh, bro, you can see Shooter's shadow in your thing because they know, like, I know him. Yeah. So they're like, yeah. what the fuck's up with this? Like... Doesn't I, care, I and I'm just like, well, clearly not. No. I didn't subscribe out of respect. I think that's a I've no met, go. Subscribe yeah, I've met her before, and she's lovely, so that's weird. Only fans, nah. I'd only subscribe if if he was in if he was in it. Yeah, I take it he's not. Well, he has an OnlyFans. Does he? It's for gambling. <laughs> it's he for, puts it's, out punting what? tips, like yeah. gambling tips. So no you could nudes, shoot no photos. Oh, I hate people that don't put nudes. I mean, sorry, that's really. <laughs> <laughs> I thought only. Oh, yeah, you can do whatever you it's want. It's just Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what we have. I mean, that's what Patreon Patreon used to have, like people that would post like sexy photos there. Trisha Paytas. Yeah. Yeah, her Patreon was just like her doing things completely nude, mm. making a killing. Yeah. And that's sort of where I would, like, I mean, I'd have to go through have a you ever Have you ever seen like how, how McDonald's makes their chicken nuggets, how they squirt out like the Ooh, goo. that pink shit. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of what her body looks like. <laughs> Stop it. Mate. Look at that. Like, come on. I... <laughs> if you put it in a glove or something. Don't! <laughs> you are literally describing my body too. <laughs> but I get it out. I, yeah. I do a bit where I lift my shirt up <laughs> on stage. Sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah. And um, like, I don't see it. And then everyone's taking photos and they're tagging me. And I'm like, nah, oh, not photos. God. That's not like, I've got a gunt. A gunt? It's where your gut hangs over your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like you have a gut, gunt. like like blokes will have a, a belly that sticks yeah. out, but mine hangs. You got a gunt. A gunt. Or a gunt. So, so, so after Mardi Gras, you had a few blokes try and lift it up. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> yes. That's like, how they're so jacked. Yeah. Like, like you're joking, but it's like, you, no, you're describing my sex life right now. That's sweet. Yeah. It's, That's is awesome. It, is it? Well, it's like... Bro, do you even lift? I fucking hope so. You'll, you'll have to. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yay, eating. Oh, man, that's sweet. Well, I think we've kind of come to the end of the episode. And I think it's a really nice area that we're in now. You know, we get to an hour and we're talking about gunt. 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 <laughs> never gunt. heard that term before. never that a, heard that in my life. Is that an urban dictionary or is that a It's, a, it's, it's pretty a real common. Term. I'm surprised you've never heard of it. Is that oh, a, no, is I'm that not. a gay You're like, community both thing? both quite fit. Is that a gay community thing? No, no, no. Just so, a general... Sounds like a really a sexist thing. term. <laughs> a gunt. A gunt. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking sick. Just I lift like my that. gunt up and slide it in. It's, it's, <laughs> I can't believe you've never heard that. Yeah. Uh, gunt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, try not to be so repulsed. Sorry, I have COVID. Um, <laughs> if you, uh, where can people find you, Christian? What are you promoting? Fucking everything, I assume. Not that you need the plug, clearly. Um, no, I need all the help I can get. Um, needafuck.com if you want to buy any fuck off mm-hmm. shit. 
Yeah. And, um, if you're sick of positive energy in your life. Oh, yeah. If you're sick of fucking assholes, yeah, yeah. It, I find it just helps. Are you sick of fucking assholes? That's surprising. Well, no. Well, when you get to my size, <laughs> I thought you'd it can never be really hard. It's a lot of vigorous activity. I'm tired. Yeah, like, great. Yeah. And uh, and the book. Oh yeah, get the book. Leave mm-hmm. me alone. What's oh. the book called, Lou? Oh. Lou, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Good. Is that out now? Yeah. Yeah, great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, one thing I wanted to ask you about the book. Sorry, was, we're running out of time. Did your editor just hate you? As someone who's like never written a book, I feel like. Yeah. If I was to write a book, mm. I feel like my editor would just fucking hate me because I don't know, like grammar and book structure. Oh, was Did you all, just get roasted? Word vomit. Um, I didn't get roasted because... They'd probably be used to it maybe. Well, that's what I was like. I'm so sorry. Like this is a mm. like word vomit on a page. Yeah. And um, she was so great. She was like, no, no, that's fine. And then just yeah. restructured it into this amazing sort of story. Because I'd read it and I was like, it's all over the place and mm. I don't think it works. Yeah. And then she just... Built this book. Made it look nice. Yeah, yeah. chronological. Yeah, this is a paragraph. Moved the, and, yeah, the, yeah. And then just w- what she would do is. Oh, so she even helped you like. She rebuilt This story it. would be better yes, at the start. Absolutely. Oh, cool. And then she was like, she'd put a bit in red, send it back and be like, you need a joining paragraph here to link these two. Mm-hmm. And the thing that annoyed me the most is she's like, here's an opportunity for a joke. And she'd write a joke in. And it was so funny yeah. that I ended up saying to her, I'm not going to improve on it. Can I just leave it in? So like, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's some jokes that Emma Rafferty is her name. Yeah. And I was just like, and people are like, oh, this part's really funny. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. And it's all her, it's all her fucking jokes. Yeah. Sometimes that'll happen with, with Luke and I, where we'll do, we'll, we'll do a show and I the other one will watch. And, and no, that's false. You know, so yeah. Luke, Luke often really fixes my setup and I'll often help him with like the end of jokes. We kind of are strong in opposite yeah. areas. Where I'll waffle on, and then he'll write this. Like he'll go, "No, you." Lewis will describe the scene. Like he'll be like, "It was dark. It, there was a couch in the room." Anyway, so then anyway, and then and like he'll just Three say unnecessary later? shit. Yeah. Three minutes later, he'll be like, "Punt on." I'm like, "Why did you say the thing about the couch? Yeah. Yeah. Like that's so unnecessary." <laughs> so unnecessary. I'm like, oh, the joke's not they, about a couch. I thought they needed to know what day it was and the temperature <laughs> yeah. to understand. Yeah. And yeah. then Luke will do the opposite. He'll he'll have be great at the start, and then he'll be like, "All right, so that uh, doesn't really have an end." Anyway, on to the next one. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's how you finish yes. it, you know? Yeah, punchlines are overrated. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. I find it really hard to finish a story. Yeah. And then because uh, Phoebe, who is my producer, has done the same. She's like, oh, you should do this here and do that there. And I'm like, that is so funny. But then a part of me is like, oh, am I even right for this? Like, she's funnier than I am. Mm. So she's ah, you just get like, sometimes you got to have someone like see it with fresh eyes because mm. you like Sometimes you're too, you're too, too in, in, in the, in the in middle it. of it. Because yeah. you're also worried about like actually – performing the mm. joke whereas it's good to just have someone sitting there and watching like what you're actually saying and yeah. the words and going that's unnecessary have you thought about this change this too, um right? it's good to have someone who who like it doesn't matter for them if your show goes well or not you know yeah. to yeah. kind of you know fix it Bit so of constructive criticism um so get christian's book listen to his podcast and fuck off that's the end of the episode thank you very <laughs> right. much you what a perfect way to end. to finish it thank you mate yeah